group of state representatives are seeking a thorough investigation into the Charleston County Housing Authority. This after learning they're selling off 30 homes. And it seems like the more answers we get, the more red flags, the more questions we come up with. Our Meredith Blair joining us live from one of those homes. And Meredith, lawmakers have questions about the management, transparency, and long-term impact of the sale on the community. Can you help answer some of those questions? Justin, Michael, yes, they have a lot of questions. They actually listed those questions. I believe there were nine of them total in a letter that they sent to the Housing Authority today, and they want this investigation to be immediate and so that they can get some of those questions answered. The houses are all over the county, from Hollywood to Mount Pleasant. Many have been left vacant for years. Representatives say the people of Charleston County deserve to know why public assets are being sold off and how this decision will impact their access to affordable housing. Let's put a pause on that and make sure that we do a good due diligence and review because there's no oversight from any other governmental agencies for the Charleston Housing Authority other than its own commission. This decision to sell comes after the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development deemed the authority, quote, troubled. Lawmakers say the sale of these homes has no buyer restrictions, and the listing agent is the former CEO of the Housing Authority, Karen Gorham, which has raised some eyebrows. How much is she getting paid? What is her agreement with uh, with the Charleston County Housing Authority. We don't necessarily need to know what the other agent is getting paid. Of course, that would be nice because it is public funds. So it, 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 it's just there's no transparency there. The sale is valued at over $7 million, and lawmakers say it presents questions about the authority's commitment to its mission of providing affordable housing. The Housing Authority said in part the sale of the 30 housing assets and investing and investing those proceeds into new affordable measures is just one step in our mission of providing affordable housing in the Charleston community. We look forward to working with the legislative body on this new path for the CCHRA. Now you can head on over to live5news.com to read their full statement and I have some additional details. Live in West Ashley, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.